God of creation There at the start Before the beginning of time With no point of reference You spoke to the dark And fleshed out the wonder of life And as you speak A hundred billion galaxies are born In the vapor of your breath The planets form And if the stars were made to worship so light I can see your heart in it Every burning star signal fire grace And if creation sings your praises so alive
And as you speak A hundred billion things disappear Well you lost your life so I can find it Hello and welcome to St. David's Church here in Ton Revel. As you may have guessed by our opening song, it's Creation Sunday. We are now just two Sundays away from the start of Lent. So pleased you have joined us today. I wonder what comes into your mind when you hear the word creation. Do you think of the act of creation itself? or the beauty of creation that surrounds us. Maybe you think of our creation. We're all aware what damage we are doing to our world and also to ourselves. A call to prayer. We who have lost our sense and our senses, our touch, our smell, our vision of who we are, we who frantically force and press all things without rest for body or spirit, hurting our earth and injuring ourselves. We call a halt. We want to rest. We need to rest and allow the earth to rest. We need to reflect and to rediscover the mystery that lives in us. That is the ground of every unique expression of life. The source of the fascination that calls all things to communion. We declare a Sabbath, a space of quiet, for simply being and letting be for recovering the great forgotten truths, for learning how to live again. Amen. And the prayer of awareness. God is a foundation for everything. This God undertakes, God gives, such that nothing that is necessary for life is lacking. Now humankind needs a body that all times honours and praises God. This body is supported in every way through the earth. Thus the earth glorifies the power of God. Amen. Here is the collect for today. Almighty God, give us reverence for all creation and respect for every person, that we may mirror your likeness in Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Grace and peace be with you and keep you in the love of Christ, Father of glory, holy and eternal. Look upon us now in power and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our blindness, and your spirit draw us to that love shown and offered to us by your Son, 
our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Charmaine now will read the Gospel from the Message Bible. A reading from Luke. One day, he and his disciples got on a boat. Let's cross the lake, he said, and off they went. It was smooth sailing, and he fell asleep. A terrific storm came up suddenly on the lake. Water poured in, and they were about to capsize. They woke Jesus. Master, master, we're going to drown. Getting to his feet, he told the wind, silence. And the waves, quiet down. And they did it. The lake became smooth as glass. Then he said to his disciples, why can't you trust me? They were in absolute awe, staggering and stammering. Who is this anyway? He calls out to the winds and the sea, and they do what he tells them. In that Gospel reading, Luke is documenting a moment of Jesus' ministry. He is explaining how the terror of that storm was instantly stopped by Jesus in just three words. We will, of course, never find ourselves on a boat in a storm with Jesus on board. But what about our own personal storms? some of which we can't even share with friends or family. Just as Jesus asked his disciples, why can't you trust me? We need to realise that we can always trust Jesus. The only barrier, just like the disciples, is ourselves. Our next worship song puts into words the need we have for God to calm our inner storm. Here is Calm the Storm.
let us now, for a few moments, empty ourselves of pride and acknowledge that sometimes not only do we have storms within us, but also sometimes cause storms in others. This we lay at the feet of our Lord. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive us. Help us to amend our lives that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself and forgives the sins of all who truly repent, pardon and deliver us from all our sins and grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join with us now to say the baptismal creed. Do you believe in God the Father, the Creator of all? I believe and trust in God the Father. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world? I believe and trust in God the Son. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life? Believe and trust in God, the Holy Spirit. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And this week, Rob will lead us in prayer. Holy God, sometimes our lives are so full of worries that we forget how you look after us through every aspect of our lives. When our worries begin to spiral out of control, help us to turn them into conversation with you, confident that you will calm our anxiety and give us hope for the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for your church the churches in our local community and for our ministry area as we work together in your name. We give you thanks for those who come up with fresh ways of making your name known to the wider community. We give thanks for those who have served you for many years and for those who have only just heard your call. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, we pray for the peace of our world. May all lands that suffer violence and injustice find peace and reconciliation. We pray for the people of the world and all who offer their services in the leadership of the affairs of the world, that they may uphold what is right and good. We pray particularly at this time for peace at the Ukraine-Russian border. We pray for our governments and political leaders for wise counsel and sound initiative to diffuse tension, for diplomats that they may have space to negotiate. We pray for the people of Ukraine, that their close ties with the people of Russia and other neighbors will remain strong, even in the face of military threat. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we thank you for the joy of human love and for all those among whom we live and work. We pray particularly for loved ones who worry us with their health or circumstances or life direction. We pray for those among our friends and families who do not know you or whose faith has been shaken. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for everyone who has been affected by the recent storms affecting us here locally and in other parts of the world. 
We pray for those who have been injured, lost their homes or possessions, and especially for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for your strength as people rebuild their businesses and lives as the storm subsides. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for all who bear the burdens of pain, bereavement, worry and depression. We pray for those whose illnesses stem from anxiety. We pray that they may have an awareness of your presence and an understanding that you are bearing those burdens with them and always working towards their healing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, through your love and mercy you turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life. Comfort those who grieve in their sorrow and those who are worried about how they will cope on their own and reassure them that you will never leave them to carry the burdens of life unaided. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, we ask you to lead us into the coming week. Help us to believe that you are close by us. Keep us from making mistakes and help us never to disappoint you through our words and actions. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So what's happening this week? All our on-site services are at the usual times. Zoom evening prayer is on Sundays and Wednesdays at 6.30pm. As always, contact us for a link if you'd like to join us. You may remember that we put out some short films during Advent and thank you everyone that followed that journey with us. We're going to do something along the same lines for Lent and we hope that you will take the journey to the cross and beyond with us. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That way you will be pinged when the new videos come out. A big thanks to Rob, Charmaine and June. And most of all, to you, our virtual parish, for being with us today. Let's join together to say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. We end our service today with Emu's music version of Praise to the Lord. You are all in our prayers. Goodbye. Praise to the Lord who so fierce.
Praise to the Lord who does prosper your work and defend you. Surely His goodness and mercy will daily attend you. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do. If with His love He be to the Lord who lets all that is in me adore.